Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig and I want to thank you all for the great comments and reception of my last video where I looked at the inside of my oldest and most worn in cowboy boots. You inspired me to take a look at the rest of my boots and I'm excited to get into it because we have new pairs and old pairs and we'll be able to compare that with the oldest pair that we looked at last week. So. Let's get into it. First things first, I want to answer a question by Mr. Chuck Diesel on the last video, and he was wondering what the difference was between the right boot and the left boot of those most worn in cowboy boots. As you can see here, the right insole is more worn in at the toe than the left insole. And that's because I lean on my right leg more and put more weight on it on a regular basis. And you could tell just by the pictures that I put up on Instagram every once in a while. All right, now let's get into these. Uh, let's start out with the Fry boot. Since this is my newest boot, I want to take a look at the inside to sort of get a baseline because these are definitely not broken in to my foot yet. So let's hook up the endoscope and take a look inside. These are my Fry boots. They are 11 Ds and they are made in Mexico. All right, let's take a look here. As you can see, oh, the Fry stamp at the heel is still intact. So these are definitely not very worn in, which is kind of surprising uh, with them being a used pair. All right, let's get down in here. Okay, so here is the end of the insole. As you can see, there's a little bit of wear, but it's still fairly new. The most wear is in the ball of the foot there, as you can see, but everywhere else it looks fairly new, which actually makes me really happy because I bought these boots used. So if they were not worn very often, it just makes me feel like I got more for my money and it will fit to my foot easier as the years go on. So that's a look inside of my Fry boots. Next up, let's look inside my Cayman Boule boots. These are my fanciest pair. And because of that reason, I don't wear them very often, so I won't expect to see very much wear in here. But let's take a look anyways. 10 E's, Boulet boots, made in Canada. All right, here we go. The heel is very polished, and I noticed that the sole of these are much have much more slip to them, but in a good way. It allows my foot to sort of sit there very comfortably. Okay, so here we can see the end of the boot, and there's a toe. There's the toe wear, as you can see in the other boot quite clearly. Here, it is much less pronounced, but I wear these boots much less often. Very interesting to see the difference between a darker insole and a lighter insole. We also have some cracks here, but for the most part, this insole is looking very nice. Still got some ways to go on that for a completely worn insole, but these are already amazingly comfortable, so I am not in a hurry to make these insoles similar to last week's video of those oldest boots. All right, what should we do next? Let's do the Abilene's next. These are my Abilene's and they are my second oldest pair of cowboy boots. They are rubber soled and they do have a higher heel. So I don't wear them as frequently just because the higher heel makes it more difficult to wear for long periods of time. And here are the Abilene's, there's their stamp. Let's see if I can see any sizing information in here. I'm not seeing any. Interesting to see a completely different insole here. As you can see, there is the toe. It is not as pronounced as my other boots though because 
they are not worn as much. We do have some wear and tear here on the side a little bit. You can see, okay, so you can see my imprint there. You can see the toe, you can see the ball of the foot there in the lighter area. So these are also starting to form to my foot. You can see the arch along the side there. That's interesting. That didn't show up in the other insole. Very, very cool to see this. Lastly, let's get to the black boulets. Now these black boulets were my third boot and I do not wear them as often, but I do like to wear them when I'm wearing dress pants or uh, anything with other types of black clothing. So let's take a look inside. We have 10 and a half E's boule boots made in Canada. It's interesting to see some of these are E's, some of them are D's, uh, some of them are 10s, some of them are 11s. So there's the heel. We have a worn in polished heel there. And if we look down in, as we can see, there is the middle part of the foot where in the oldest boot, last week's video, we saw cracks and it looks like that's starting to happen to these black boots as well. And there is our toe imprint and our other little toe imprints just like in the other boots. That is so interesting to see how they become more pronounced as the years go on and as the wear becomes more pronounced. And here we actually get to see the littler toe imprints much better than on the other boots, just because it must be earlier on in, in the wear process. Look at that. That is so cool. It's interesting to see the wear based off of the frequency with which I wear these boots. As we saw with the Fry boots, basically no wear at all, which is kind of cool because they're used boots, which makes me think that its previous owner rarely wore them. And then with the uh, black boulets, it's pretty obvious that I wear these the second most just based off of the wear and tear of the insole itself, you're able to see the toe imprints much more than these other boots. But with the Abilene's, we were able to see that arch, and that probably has to do with the softer insole that isn't leather. Very interesting to take a look into all of these boots. So thank you all for inspiring me to take a look into each one. I really appreciate it. Now let's get into some of the pictures that you guys sent me this week. Mario sent me a picture of his Sendras and I really like the design of these. I am just becoming a huge fan of Sendras just because of you guys and the pictures that you send me. They look amazing. I like the way the toe kind of curves up on these Sendras and how pointed they are. These are some classy Sendras, Mario, so thank you for sending these in. And Jean-Pierre sent me in another picture of his boots, and here they are looking classy again with some color substitutions on the floor and his jeans. That is a very interesting picture, and the boots look great. Thank you, Jean-Pierre, for sending me another picture. I got some more pictures, but I wanna use those for future videos because I've been having some great conversations with you guys in my email, and it's given me a lot of ideas. So, if you want to send me your pictures, please use the email jeremiah.craig at jeremiahcraig.com. Thank you so much again for watching today. I really appreciate it. You guys are the best. So we've seen the effect of each and every step Of walking in our cowboy boots Every right and left It's crazy to see how much we wear Our cowboy boots Each and every pair Yeah Wear them in Wear them in Wear them in Yeah Hey, thanks everybody. I really appreciate it. Catch you next week. Peace.
So we've seen the effect of each and every step Of walking in our cowboy boots Every right and left It's crazy to see how much we wear 